Before he said that, before he said that, I don't, I wasn't there. it didn't exist. I, I wasn't there. God that created. God created. That was the beginning. So if the word existed with the beginning, before the beginning, the word didn't exist. That's what it says. In the beginning was the word. Your word. When you came to life, you came with the word, but you didn't speak. No, no. When you were born, Jesus. Look, life, from John to Revelation, Jesus is a creation of God. In Jesus the beginning was the also word. The word of God. Hmm? When you were born, which word of God is it? You, when Sorry, you were, which word? When you, you, and me, or all of us, when we were born, we have the word, but we didn't speak. Let's let's let's. Can, can you clarify one thing for me? God speaks. He has word. He has yes, speech. He does. His words and speech is eternal, infinite, because he's an eternal, infinite God. Yes. Jesus to you is the word of God. Which word of God is he? All of it or part of it? The logos. Yeah. Which word of God is he? All the words of God personified in the flesh or a particular word of God? Like when God says to the universe, when it wasn't in existence, let there be and there was. So when you say Jesus is the word of God, is he a particular word of God that let there be? Or is he all the words that God speaks? personified into a person you have only two options I don't understand. when you say someone is a word of God right imagine you have words right you speak if I take all your words and make into a person that's your word when that word speaks that speaks you are cannot be able to speak anymore because that's your word you can only speak through your word either this is a word or all of your word Jesus, is it all of the words of God or one or two or some words of God? If you put God in that small box, God will be very small. No, what you say, you say yes. he's the word of God, right? You say that. Yes. So when you say the word of God became flesh, which word of God became flesh? All the words of God That's or one word? I'm saying. If you put God, that if he is yeah, the word, he says he's the word, then there is no word of God. God is too small. I cannot worship that God. That is so too small. God have his word and God can still speak. Then Jesus is not the all of... Let me ex 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 give you an example. When Jesus was speaking to God who was in heaven, they were communicating. If he was the word of God, he was communicating with the word of God. Yeah, he can speak. Wait, wait. Yeah. So you have now one word of God speaking with another word of God. That's fine. Yeah, so basically you're saying Jesus was a particular word of God. You, you can put it that way, yeah. but I don't want a God, then, I then, cannot worship a God who speaks only in Jesus and then is silence for the whole world. Do you know now what that means? No. When you personify an attribute of God like his word, it is like taking the knowledge of God and making it to a woman and says, this is the knowledge of God. Take the mercy of God and make you into a man. And this is the mercy of God. Take the love of God and make you into another man. And so on. Do you see, do you see the problem? You, know what? you are taking all the attributes of God and making them personified oh, okay. into a man, woman, that, or a tree or whatever. That's what I'm saying. That I, you cannot take God and put it in that small box of Jesus. He's a body. He came in a body to show us if I want to save you. This is what if you have to go to hell. This is what you look like. You have to die for your sin. But he just to show us. But God still remember. God. He just to show That's us. That's the word and of the God. Bible says in heaven that Jesus is the express image of God. Does express the word of God worship God? God. Does the word of God worship God? If the God can say, I am great, I am this, is worship. So the word of God is worshiping God. What about the body, human body of Jesus? Did it worship Jesus, the divine? He said, I have come to do the will of God. No. You misunderstood. Jesus to you is divine God, the divine spirit, and a human body. The human body, did the human body worship the divine Jesus? God took a body according to you. He was in heaven, came down, took a body. The body is not God. The body is Jesus. Did this human body, Jesus, was it human? If it's human, it needs to have a will. 
a human being needs to have a will, otherwise like a robot. So you have a human Jesus created by God with a human will. Accepts, rejects, yes, no, agrees, disagrees, right? Willingly, unwillingly. And then you have the divine who is now occupying this body. Did the human Jesus worship the divine Jesus? Because the divine is God according to you. Jesus is God according to you. The divine Jesus is God. So the human body, like you and me, we are human. Did the human Jesus worship the divine Jesus? Worship? Yeah. In what terms? You have to help me there. I don't understand. The human, human Jesus and the divine Jesus. Right? Did the human Jesus communicate with the divine Jesus? How many will did this body have? The will of the Jesus the divine? And what happened to the will of the human Jesus? Yeah, one. So there was only one will? Yeah, one will. The one will. If it's only one will, it says, of that day and of that hour no, no one, not even the angels in heaven, not even the Son, but only the Father. So the divine Jesus is supposed to know, all knowledgeable. And yet, he says he doesn't know. Can you explain? Pay attention. Can you explain? Uh, uh, I don't know how to explain to you. I don't understand that much. I, I don't know the what divine, to the, the divine God, let's get God, is all knowledgeable. He doesn't forget. He knows everything of the future. Right. This all knowledgeable God comes down, takes a human body. The human will and the divine will now is one, somehow. And it says, I don't know when the hour is going to come. But the divine is supposed to know the future. I don't know. I, I don't understand that one. I don't know what to say. I do. Shall I tell you what I understand? The person who's speaking is not God. Because if he was God, he would have known. You know where you are going. You are going straight to hell if you have that mentality. I'm going straight to hell. Straight to hell. Okay. Because um, let's get, let the conversation and let's hope that, uh, you know, God places, shows us, shows us his grace and mercy to all of us yes. who use their reason and the intellect no, and come no, to worship no, no, no. him. I just want to explain. Yeah. I want to explain something yeah. to you. No, no, no. Go ahead. Oh, no, no. Let's stop you. No, I have to go. I'm never ready. Me too, I have to go. But you have to finish it. The way you finish it is not good. Because you said we're going to go to hell. No, right? I just want okay. to explain. Give me those back. Let's, let's catch the finishing touch. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm not going to say it. Please, go ahead. I'm talking to you. Um, explain, please. Jesus. What, what was your question? That's uh, I'm 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 saying, telling you. If you want to talk about just, you don't see how you have your sin is bad. My sin is bad, and that sin take us to death. If you don't understand, you don't accept that, and you think you just find fault. I find fault. I, I you just do that until you go. It's a way to hell, that's what I'm saying. I'm not saying you are going to hell. Understood, understood. If we understood. human beings, we, we want to learn, we discover, we want to find answer. You can't just say, no, okay. Just treat, say it the way you want, and you just go. I misunderstood you, right? Do you, know, do you know why you and I don't worship a rat and believe in a book which says, you know, God came down as a monkey? Do you know why? It's because we use something called reason. Yeah. Reason. If you use your reason and your intellect, you realize what the Bible describes about Christ and what you believe about Christ, it doesn't follow. That's what I just said. Because Christ clearly demonstrating in the Bible, he is a worshiper of God, a servant of God, a creation of God, a prophet of God, a messenger of God, telling people to worship God. And what did we hear all the time? He's God. Obviously, reason wasn't applied. In the beginning, you said in the beginning, we said in the beginning before, there is God, there is the world, there is the spirit, the three were one in the beginning. There is no text. Oh, you're going to show me where it does it say that? Yeah. Where does it say that the three are one? Is it 1 John 5 7? Yeah. But that, you know that verse? That verse was added in the Bible in the Middle Ages. If you now consult how English translation are done for the Bible, I have it. No. You're reading in English, correct? I wasn't going to that. I was going to the beginning. That's so where, the beginning, God. Where does it say that in the Bible, God is three in one? 
in the beginning, mm -hmm. I'm saying in the beginning of the Bible, yep. he said in the, the beginning, God created, the, he said, and then the spirit was there. The three worked together in the beginning. This That's is the same no, no, this, Look, look, I find even Paul saying how God the son and the angels. You can say, oh, maybe that's the Trinity. No, 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 no. So the first. I, I, I didn't no, say that. No, I am saying yeah. the extrapolation that you're making, the, the, the inferences you see. You read a verse, oh, there seems to be three agents there. No, there must be three in one. No. Where does God say that I am three in one? Or we are three in one? Sir, sir. Where? You are human. Mm -hmm. You have your body. No, no, you're, you're you again your making an, an analogy. You so. Sister, you're making an analogy again. When Sister. God. Where does God say, I alone am God, there's none else? Many places in the Bible. We never where does, said that. Where does God say, I'm three in one and worship us all together? Nowhere. Do you see the difference? You misunderstand. I don't misunderstand. You I see it plainly. God says, I alone am God and there is none else. You're saying, no, he's not alone. He's got a son and he's got a Holy Spirit and they're one. So where everything say we that? have said before, he, we didn't talk out all. What's everything your he belief, says, your belief, everything we said, your belief, yeah. look, if I now believe, you know what, Melchizedek or Melchizedek is God, if I believe that, because having no father, they're calling for prayer, right, I'm going to go now, right, so yeah, yeah. if I believe a person who has no beginning, no end of days, no father, no mother, no genealogy, I would say, ah, that's God, so you have now three and one four in one, what would you say? Monsieur. I, I, Monsieur. Monsieur. I respect you a lot. The main in all this is, the main thing in the discussion is we have fallen. We have fallen. We have sinned against God. We need a way. He made, because of His love, He made a way so that we can go to Him. That's all. You know, as about. Muslims, we believe the only way to go to heaven is by worshiping God alone. If we ascribe, just to tell you what we believe, compared to what you believe, if we ascribe a partner to God, it could be in the form of a son, hellfire, this is what the Quran tells us, will be our only destination, there will be no coming out of it, there will be no helpers. It's like when you say God has taken a son, the heavens and the earth were to like destroy itself, crumble, it's like they will be like all destroyed and humiliated. You know? Shut it from existence. That is how serious God takes when we ascribe the most beneficent, most merciful, having a son. So if you want to be saved, if I want to be saved, God tells us in the Quran, the last of all the books that God has sent, that you should worship Him and only Him alone and follow the final messenger. That's it. Okay. Well, okay. I have to go and pray. You can do. No, no, I have to go and pray. It's my sticking to you. Wait, 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 wait. I thank you for speaking respectfully. I really appreciate. Me too. Appreciate. Thank, thank you. Humble. Thank you. You take care. It's okay. You take care. Um, thank you. Let's go and pray. Muslims in Norway are now establishing a masjid and dawa center to enhance the Norwegian dawa. If you donate to this cause, you will inshallah reap the rewards of thousands of Muslims coming back to Islam and many of those who become du'at and invite to Islam. So click the link and donate now and share the video for extra rewards.